working with the computer microtherm and I was here last night I added about a hundred pounds of refrigerant to rack B we've got two circuits for the freezer this one is B19 got hot gas defrost and then we got B21. Also hot gas defrost, both of them. They work in the freezer. The middle freezer. This one. And B9, B21 is that one, which is closer to the door. And B19 is this one, which is furthest from the door. And it also has a bad suction temperature probe. But I don't think that's affecting anything. The racks go into 20 minute defrosts. And this one's about to expire and start refrigeration again. So I added this 100 pounds of refrigerant last night because this side glass, it was flashing pretty hard. Right now, it's hard to get on camera, but right now it's not. Hold up, I got something, that's something fucked up. Now, unless, let's, let's check this out. I would think that the one that's froze up is the one that's alarming, got B21 alarming nonstop, can't ever get down to temperature. You click on it, look at the graph. It's got a horrible looking graph. It just cannot get down below five. So I would think that that's the one that's all froze up. Let's go double check. All right, so we're gonna approach the freezer. We're gonna open the door and the B19, when I look up, is gonna be to my left. And then when I'm on the other side, when I walk up to the, you know, I'm walking, blah, 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 walk up to it, my B19 is gonna be on the left-hand side, the three doors on the left, right there. The one over here is gonna be rack D, DO2. And when I walk in the door and I look to the right and up, that's gonna be rack D. All right, here we go. I'm walking up to it. Okay, I'm walking up to the side, away, further away from the doors. This is the right side. So at first, it looks like I was wrong. The ones that are froze up are on the D rack, rack D, and not on rack B. There we go. We're approaching the door, and we're gonna look up. We walk in the door. Okay. Something smells burnt in here. All right. We look up and to the left. That's got a clear evaporator. There's no ice on it. That's the evaporator. That's full of ice. And when I look up and I look to the right, so that one is rack D, that one is rack B. Let's just double check. That one, rack D. That one, B21. So my graph here for B19, keep in mind I added 100 pounds to this circuit last night. That is $2,000 our cost of refrigerant. So you can see that my graph shows a little bit of improvement in the defrost high temp coming down. 
after I, because I added refrigerant right about here. Right about there is when I added it. Last night around 10.30. So after, it looks like our temperature came down and then our defrost wasn't that high. I could be tripping. Maybe I overcharged it. I don't know. What I got to do is come back tonight and wash this case. Because with these case, this case being froze up badly as it is, and this case being a little iced up, these ones won't pull down to temperature like they need to. So I've got. Uh, yeah, hold on, yeah, yeah. Over here on my B circuit, I've got horrible looking graph. And look at that graph. That is just shitty. But it's all because of this one that's froze up. And I guess it's alarming. Yeah, it's alarming also. But they didn't call that in. Let's see. B21. The one that's alarming more is um, freaking... The one that's alarming more is B21. So you, you would think that B21 is the one that's froze up because it keeps alarming. D01 only alarmed once. That's stupid. And I kid you not, no, no sooner than I say it doesn't alarm, it freaking alarms. Finally, huh? Piece of shit. Alright, shut up. Alright, I shut it up. So, I gotta do that. Set that up with the manager. I'll come back tonight at 8.30 and I'll post another, uh, I'll record it. That way y'all can watch it. Sorry I haven't been uh, posting much lately. But I'll get back on that and um, try to get y'all some content because I've been slacking off a lot lately. So, my bad. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for staying subscribed. If you ain't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. I appreciate it. And uh, see you tonight.